A month ago, just two months after she celebrated her child's remains found in a plastic bag have now been positively identified as the missing four-year-old Malia Davis. Those remains have been dumped on the side of the road in Arkansas like trash. Malia disappeared a month ago, just two months after she celebrated her birthday with family. And you'll see in this video, much happier times. Happy And the man you see holding her there, Darion Vence, the man who allegedly confessed this past Friday to killing her and driving her body from Texas across state lines to dump the body. He reportedly revealed those details during a jailhouse interview with community activist Quanell X after spending weeks behind bars in connection with her disappearance. Joining me now once again, Quanell X along with HLN legal analyst Joey Jackson and Joseph Scott Morgan, former investigator with the Fulton County Medical Examiner's Office. Quanell, I'll start with you. Just tell me, what did Darion say to you? Why did he confess to you? Darion said to me that he did not like the way he was being portrayed in the media. And I asked him, what do you mean by that? He said that he wanted people to know that he was primarily the full-time parent for Malia, that Brittany, his fiance, the mother of Malia, was never really around, that he was responsible for all rehabilitation care, doctor's appointments, taking her back and forth to school, daycare, etc. And that's what he said, but at the same time, when I spoke to him, he never showed any remorse whatsoever for what happened to little Malia. And if he was such a good caretaker, why does he say he killed her? Hey guys, I just made $20 per eating out using the Seated app. It's basically free money and it's incredible. Top of loaded. Why does he say he killed her? I don't want to go too deep into that right now because that's going to play out another arena. But I believe that what happened was that when Brittany discovered that he was sending naked photos of himself to individuals and she told him she was no longer going to marry him and give his ring back and she was going to break it off, that she would no longer communicate with him. He was texting and calling. She wouldn't respond. I believe he snapped like he did in the past. I learned from talking with the mother for hours that this was not the first time that he had physically beaten Malia and because of that I think that's what made him snap and harm Malia. Did you ask him about those text messages and did he confirm to you that that in fact was an argument he had with Brittany? We, he did admit that they had an argument. He did admit that they were fussing and fighting about the text messages. And also, I got a chance to speak with the mistress that he was involved with, who shared a lot of information with me. So when I finally sat down with Darian, I shared things with him that he thought no one knew. And so he began to open up and talk. He was very arrogant, to be honest with you. No remorse. He was just straight arrogant. I mean, he had, there was nothing good that he said about Malia. He wasn't in pain or anything like that. He said the deputies and guards were treating him fair, were treating him fair, they were not mistreating him. And he was just kind of just straight to the point about what he, what he said happened and how he felt. What was it that he said happened and how did he say he disposed of the body? Well, he told me, he said that, I asked him, I said, is Malia dead? He said, yes, she is dead. I said, where is she, brother? I said, don't BS me. Be straight with me before you answer that question. I'm going to ask you again, where is she? And don't BS me, be real with me. And he said, I'm going to tell you the truth. And he said, I dumped a body right by Hope, Arkansas. I said, well, how did you do it? He said, I just got out of the car, took a body out of the trunk, and I dumped them on the side of the road. That's what he said. Did he say how he killed her? I don't want to talk about that right now because that's going to play out in a very another sensitive area. And I don't want to jeopardize anybody being convicted in this case because someone does and others need to be charged in this case also for the subsequent roles that they played after the death of Malia. Tell me who that is. Who do you believe needs to be charged? I don't want to talk about that right now either, but I've shared that information with investigators. I've told the district attorney's office who I believe should be charged and why they should be charged. Have you spoken to Brittany Bowens, who has not been charged with any crime after you made the allegations right here on the air that she, you say, knows more than she's leading on? She's reached out to me twice since then. I have not returned a call. I have not communicated with her because my anger level is extreme with this case. And I hate to say it like that because I believe in being very disciplined, but this is painful. I'm a father. I have daughters and I'm afraid of what I really would say if we talk. So it's best that we don't. 
after talking to Darion, do you still think she knows what really happened? I believe that Brittany knew a lot more than what she was saying. Uh, I know for a fact, as she confessed to me, she helped cover up physical abuse of Malia in the home. And I believe that when she came back, she learned a little bit more about Malia's, what happened with her. But I don't think she knew where the body was dumped. But I do believe that he shared things with her to let her know what had happened to Malia. We tried to reach out to Brittany Bowens after the allegations you made here on the air. She did not get back to us. She did talk to a Houston affiliate. She claims you made it all up. She says that she's the one that let you go. What do you make of some of her allegations against you? Well, once Brittany realized that I no longer would stand by her side and she learned that I had went to the district attorney's office with information that I had gathered through our investigation, I believe she was upset about that. And so the only thing she could do was try to attack me because she knew what I had learned. She knew what I knew. And based on what I know and what I had learned, she knows what she's possibly facing in the future. So I'm not surprised that she did that. Do you think that she's going to face charges? Yes, I do. What makes you believe that? Because of what was shared with me, what she told me, what she admitted to, and what I shared with them was factual information that came directly from Brittany, and I have proof of what she said and what she admitted to, and that has been shared with her the investigators. I do believe she would be charged and she should be charged. And if there's any ounce of decency in her as a mother, she has to own up to the complicit negligent role she played in the demise of Malia. And if she does not, well then it is what it is, but it's unfortunate. Now that your daughter is gone, and this beautiful child was taken away from you and everybody else in the manner in which she was, dumped on the side of the road. Whatever cover up you got left in you, bury that. And just be honest and tell the truth. But if she- Hey guys, what's up? So I've been following this case and I told you guys I will keep you updated on what was going on. And I had no intentions on jumping on camera, but I had to stress this because a lot of people were saying the truth you just over exaggerating you you going in on this lady she's grieving blah 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 so look just like i said in the beginning her mother has something to do with this and everybody thought i was crazy and i'm gonna tell you why because as a mother if i know that my child is with someone okay who's harmed them before i'm not gonna egg that person on i'm not gonna piss them off when they do something to my kid i'm just not gonna do it not to mention if something has already happened i would never leave my child in the presence of someone who beat my kid you got to remember they say he beat this little girl this little girl had a, a hole in her head she was supposed to wear a helmet from the abuse that she received from this man but yet you leave your child with him go out of town and then egg him on with an argument and come back and your daughter's dead not to mention I told you, I said, something don't sound right. I said, what type of grieving mother goes on a million TV shows? Every time I cut a TV on, every time I cut a TV on, every time I cut a TV on, it was a bitch on a TV show. But you grieve it. Now, all of a sudden, since the body's been found in Arkansas, we not hearing nothing. You went remote silent. Not to mention the activist who was, oh my God, she's innocent. You guys are persecuting this woman. Now, he feels some type of way about her. But I'm the crazy one. Right. Pay attention, people. Stay woke. And protect your motherfucking kids. That's your first job. Protect your seeds.